Hello and welcome to this video um, or welcome back if you're already subscribed. This week I am doing a guinea pig haul. Um, one item is from the haul that I did last time months and months ago. I completely forgot to add this in. And then I've got two items from the pig shop. And the pig room shop which I will link in the description down below towards his Etsy. Last time I looked the Etsy shop was currently on holiday with it being Christmas. Um, but I will still link it down below if you want to have a look. So let's start off with the bit that I forgot from Steph's Piggy Paradise haul. Um, I forgot this with this cute ladybird patterning on it. Um, it's actually an ice wall, so it's got a nice block inside of it. And I just pop that in the freezer. And then when it's really hot, I pop it in the f when it's really hot, I pop it in the freezer. And then I leave it in the girl's cage or well, the herd's cage because I've got Simba there. Have an eye the herd's cage um, so they can lay on it so if it gets too hot for them they can cool down with that. Usually I use hot water bottles, um, bottles that are frozen that from drinks but I find because I put socks on them that they pull the socks off and I'm worried that if they sit too close to these bottles they're going to get their first stuck so I'm going to try this and see what they think of this uh, and then I've got two items from the pig room first of all this little pee pad um, this is going to go underneath their hide to try and protect the fleece a little bit more. Um, although I do wash the fleeces regularly by hand, I'm thinking that this in the little underneath the hide might give me a couple of extra days because that's the only bit that gets really, really messy. Um, the rest is just obviously daily poops and hay um, underneath where their where the hide is. That bit of fleece gets quite wet quite quickly, so I'm hoping the pee pad will help with that. And then I also bought the pig room's um, squish tunnel. So if anyone lays on the top, it can squish down. That's why it's called the squish tunnel. Came with a pee pad as well, so I can just change that. Um, but I love, I love this patterning and how shiny it is. Um, I'm into sort of the space and stars and everything so I wouldn't mind trying because I have my own sewing machine now having a go at making a space theme cage but I am going to pop this in and see what the herd thinks of it and add this into this video so you can see um, but I absolutely love the shimmer that this gives off it's such a beautiful tunnel these have already been washed and wicked, so let's pop them in for the herd to try them. Um, so the pee pad fits perfectly under there. I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but it just sticks out. You can just see it here. It's pretty dark in there for them to be nice and cosy. And I've just stuck the tunnel in the middle, so it's got plenty of room all the way around for them to just explore it. Oh, caramel approves. What is it, Simba? Oh, I love the fact that this sort of fabric is really, really soft for them. Hello, Eclipse. What do you think of the tunnel? Caramel, please don't eat it. It's not for eating.
appreciate the fact that Caramel, although it has two bottles, is quite happy to wait in a queue for Eclipse to finish this one. Even though they're both the same and it's fresh water. My guinea pigs know how to form orderly queues. So yet again, I forgot to film the outro to this video. Um, the tunnel's been in there for a week now, and it's a fan favourite with the piggies, especially the tunnel. Um, the pad pee pad is my favourite because it means that under where the big house is, I can clean it easier for them. Um, but I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!